Okay, so to continue with our example, uh, we've shifted the cost curve here, um, and we want to see what that represents. So if we say that for any given price level, we used to induce builders to construct this amount. Now they're constructing a greater amount for the same price. So it must be that their costs have fallen. So let's get rid of those lines. So this represents a fall in costs for producers. And again, I'm going to cut this line in half as I start my new equilibrium. Okay. And there we can see, so we can analyze what's happened here. We see that rents have fallen, prices have fallen, new construction has increased, and the stock of space has increased, all as a result of this fall in the cost of construction costs. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we're not going to do an example where we shift uh, this relationship between new construction and stock of space. We're going to consider that to be a fixed relationship that doesn't change. There might be circumstances where it does change. I haven't really thought about what those what those might be, but uh, perhaps uh, buildings that last longer or somehow fit a greater number of people into them for the for the same uh, amount of of buildings or the same sort of space built but somehow it's become more efficient or something like that uh, maybe we could imagine some future where that's true uh, but we won't get into that we'll just consider this uh, this lower right hand quadrant as fixed and typically we're going to be changing these three quadrants the upper right upper left and lower left so hopefully these videos have um, provided a bit of intuition and helped you to figure out how to um, most effectively draw these four quadrant diagrams. Uh, they can be a little bit tricky, but hopefully I've provided a bit of insight and helped you out.